Hello and welcome to Gumberg Library's video tutorial on using medical subject headings or MeSH. This is the second tutorial in our PubMed series. For an introduction to PubMed and its search capabilities, please refer to our PubMed video tutorial, which is available on the Gumberg Library YouTube page. PubMed offers a helpful index of subject headings that can be used to tailor results to better fit the topic of interest. Medical subject headings are standard terms used to describe concepts in medical literature. In order to help do more complete searches, PubMed will translate search terms into any applicable medical subject headings. To see this in action, click Advanced under the search bar after conducting a PubMed search, scroll down to History and Search Details, and select the arrow under Details. We can also structure a search directly using the Medical Subject Headings database, which allows us to search for individual terms. To access this database from PubMed's homepage, select Mesh Database under the Explore icon. Sometimes MeSH terms are not the same terms we might use in practice. For example, let's look at the term hippotherapy, which refers to therapeutic interventions using horses. When searching the term hippotherapy, we're directed to the MeSH page for equine-assisted therapy. Conceptually, these terms relate to the same intervention, but in this case, MeSH uses different language than what we might expect. MeSH term pages contain a lot of useful information. First, there's the title of the term followed by a brief definition, providing context on what this subject heading is used to refer to. There's also information on the year this term was introduced to PubMed's indexing, which, if we scroll down further, we can also learn about if the term was previously referred to as something else. That section is called Previous Indexing. Previous indexing can be helpful if you want to comprehensively search the literature for a particular term or concept. For example, if we wanted to find every article that refers to equine-assisted therapy, we'd also need to include previously indexed terms to account for articles written before 2010, the year that this heading was introduced to MASH. The series of checkboxes we see on the page are subheadings. These are additional specifications we can make to the subject heading if we only want to look at a specific subset of articles on a topic. The default function is to include every subheading, so it's not necessary to select subheadings for every case. However, if we were only interested in, say, the practices used in equine-assisted therapy, we could select the subheading methods. Subheadings are standardized by the type of term in medical subject headings, and the list of subheadings changes slightly depending on their relevance to the subject heading itself. To learn more about the scope of each subheading, check out the National Library of Medicine's scope notes for each subheading at the link in the description. Another specification we can make in MeSH is to restrict to MeSH major topic. This option allows us to specify which terms should be the major focus of the articles the database finds. Entry terms are synonymous or near-synonymous terms that MeSH uses to broaden a search. This can be a helpful way to make sure we've found the correct MeSH term that corresponds to the topic or concept we're looking to represent in our search. Additionally, since not all PubMed records are assigned MeSH terms, consider using selected entry terms if the goal is to maximize search results. At the bottom of a MeSH page, we'll find the hierarchical representation of MeSH terms. This hierarchy is how MeSH terms relate to one another and are categorized. For some terms, there will be narrower terms below it. A common example of this is population-related terms. For example, age groups is a subject heading, but obviously there are many ages that people can be, so there are terms below age groups to specify the age range being referred to, such as adolescent or child. There are also terms that will be listed above the term we're looking at. These are the broader categories that a term falls under. Many terms are listed under more than one broad category, and this will be reflected by showing more than one hierarchical tree at the bottom of the page. When adding broad terms to a search, MeSH will automatically add narrower terms to the search results. For example, if we search child, we would get results for child or child preschool. We can toggle against this by selecting do not include MeSH terms found below this term in the MeSH hierarchy. This may be useful if we're only wanting to see studies working with children ages 6 to 12, which is the defined age range for the subject heading child. Now that we know what information MeSH gives us, we can use MeSH to build a search. Sticking with the example of equine-assisted therapy, we could select subheadings we want to include and, if we want, designate the term as a major topic. Once we're satisfied with our specifications, we could click Add to Search Builder on the right-hand side. This allows us to search for additional subject headings and add them to be searched for in addition to equine-assisted therapy. If there aren't any other terms we want to search for, we could also simply click Search PubMed for articles as is. For more information on putting a search together using PubMed and medical subject headings, you can check out our Health Sciences Literature Searching Guide in the description below. 
This has been a tutorial on using medical subject headings to build a search in PubMed. If you have any additional questions, you can visit Ask Gumberg at the site below and contact the library.